Hi, I'm Billy, the Whiskey Exchange Ambassador. I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about Dalmore Portwood Reserve. Now, Dalmore are well known for using sherry casks, other wine casks, all the way through their process, but they're really well known for using sherry casks. Richard Patterson, the master blender, is not a man who likes to sort of restrict himself though when it comes to using casks. He likes looking all over the place and dragging in lots of different things. So outside of all the wine casks and all the sherry casks, he also uses port casks. Now, the port casks for the Dalmore Port Reserve come from Graham's, and Graham's are a company very well known for making really good tawny port. Different types of ports, so you get the vintage and ruby ports which are really fresh fruit and berries and that sort of like really bright cherry notes. Whereas the tawny ports are the darker, the more oxidized, uh, more aged ports. They bring in those sort of more uh, aged flavors you might find in other spirits and also wines. And so they go for more of a nutty and sort of like toffee sort of approach to their flavors. So very, very different to the sort of bright sherry wines that normally Richard would be using to put together his various different whiskies. So the Port Reserve on the nose, it has that classic sort of big over the top down more sort of, uh, sort of character, but it doesn't go so much into that bright fruit you might normally expect. It has a little bit of that, but it also goes into that sort of rich toffee and sort of uh, almost sort of fudgy sort of notes. A little bit of nuts in there as well, so maybe some candied nuts. On the palate, it has a sort of nice sort of chocolate orangey character to it. And brings in, again, more of those sort of nutty notes and more of those rich toffees and uh, maybe some raisins and sultanas in there as well, but going more towards that sultana side of things rather than that sort of quite uh, dark raisin fruitiness. So if you're a Sherry Cast Whiskey fan, if you like your Dalmors, this is definitely a step away, a step different, but it's definitely one if you want to explore that range of flavour, step outside of that normal Sherry comfort zone and find something that's similar but really quite different. This is definitely a whiskey you should be trying.